Welcome to Tales from Surgeon's Hall. Today I'd like to talk to you about a food that suffers from a condition called hyperkeratosis. Now keratin is a protein, and you'll find it in your hair, your fingernails, it's in the outer layer of your skin. And hyperkeratosis is when keratin is being produced to excess. And that can sometimes be a good thing. So if you're getting constant rubbing somewhere on your skin, your skin will start to produce extra keratin there in order to form a callus to protect itself. Sometimes though the body just goes into overdrive with keratin production and that's what's happened here. Um, and we don't really understand the reasons behind this, but this poor lady was suffering from hyperkeratosis on the soles of both her feet. And you can see they're covered in these uh, brown stalk-like protuberances that kind of resemble the studs on the bottom of a football boot. And we can only imagine how unpleasant this must have been. It would have been uncomfortable, possibly painful for walking, for getting dressed. And this isn't something that happened overnight. So it's likely that she lived with this for a considerable amount of time. But I'd also like to talk about this foot from a conservation point of view. Uh, because when I started at Surgeon's Hall, it was in a bit of a poor state of repair. So uh, the mount had slipped, the fluid's very, very coloured, and there are fatty globules floating in the fluid. And this is down to the way that fixation fluid works. So when you put something into a fixative fluid, it causes a chemical change. It causes a sort of cross-linking between the components of the cells, which stop them being able to come apart in the process of decomposition. The thing is though that while you can do that you can't fix the fat and so the fat starts to leach out and this is what causes the fatty buildup in the fluid inside the jar and this can uh, then change into fatty acids which can actually degrade the tissue. So this isn't just an aesthetic problem, it can also cause damage to the tissue itself. And so this fluid, fluid has been taken out of the jar, it's been cleaned, the uh, fluid has been changed and it's been remounted.